Hello and welcome back to the land of Vinralandia, where Brandberg has just been completed! Look at it, it's amazing. Ah, so much zooming in. Look at it, it fills the entire area. This is precisely what we wanted out of everything. It's brilliant. Now, as I'm looking at this, I notice this one little incinerator in Filth Corner. The only place in the entire city that doesn't have any water at all. Right at Filth Corner. Even at Filth Corner, we must clean something. And the only thing we have to clean anything with around here is water. Filth Corner must be cleansed. Okay, now that we've completed Brandberg for the most part, of course we'll come back in here, probably do some other stuff later, because that's what we do. We go back, we fix things that are wrong, that we did wrong, that I did wrong, because I'm terrible. <sighs> the people of Brandberg just hate, because that happens. Like that abandoned building right there, and I accidentally knocked down another building too. Well, that was a filthy building anyway. Now we need to give some love to our old friends, Cultopia and Goatsburg. Hello, Goatsburg. How are you? Hello, Cultopia, and how are you? I think, well, I say we need to give them love. What we really need to do is create some offices. So instead of helping people to prosper and be better because <laughs> who wants to help people? We're going to build some offices. We're pretty much out of space in Bramberg to build offices. As I may or may not have already mentioned, it's questionable. I should probably actually pause the game while I'm doing this. We're going to build... Wait, I'm thinking. I'm having a think here. See, I'm thinking we could build one of uh, these guys and have a situation like we had up here with Cultopia and Goatsburg before. But we could also just build some off-ramps, which off and on-ramps kind of sound like a better idea right now. So let's get a good idea of... Oh my goodness, I need to look down. don't want to look at this ground-level filth. I am a god, and by god I mean just a guy sitting at a computer building a city, but those are all technicalities. I need to look from up above so that I can make sure that my curve is beautiful. There we go. It's a nice curve. Eh, you know, it's good enough. We can't all have nice things, especially not in Bramberg. Well, actually, in Bramberg, everyone has to have nice things, because if they don't all have nice things, it's not considered to be normal. And then if you do have nice things, bad things happen. Mmm, very bad things happen. It's just not great. It's... One might say it's like... Oh, I'm, I'm probably going to be whisked away in the night, but one might say it's a little, tiny bit unfair. Just a little. Yeah, I'm dead. It's over. We whisked away in the night and taken off by the people in suits. Oh, there we go. It's all over, guys. It's all over. Oh, that's eh, good enough. There we go. We'll get an on-ramp there. We'll get an off-ramp back here. It will be beautiful. So amazing. Look at that. Look at that on-ramp right there. Oh, it just looks... Mmm. Eh, decent. Half decent. Not terrible. I've seen worse. Let's get this going here. We need a curved road coming up this way. Which means we'll have to actually use the curved road tool. Oddly enough. So we want it to come... Probably like this, and then right across this way. Look at that. That's not a curved road at all. It's just sticking out there. You can't just stick out there, road. Come on, road. Uh, stinking road. 
You always got to use the freeform tool because the freeform tool is so much nicer. Here we go. Just like that. And then we'll come down. Like. Like. No, we can't come down yet. We have to come here and then we come down. And it's. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that. That is a disgusting curve. Look, look at the waviness here. You're just going to be driving along and be like, oh, okay, this is pretty nice. You're like, oh my goodness! Just swerving everywhere. There's going to be so many crashes, like at least five crashes a year. Maybe more. That one's questionable. But we're going to have at least five crashes a year just from that little wavy part of the road. Because, man, what are people going to do about a slightly wavy road? That's just the worst. Come on, you want to connect up there? There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, look, at, look at that. That is so bad. That is just, it looks, ugh. Oh, that's me shuddering because it just looks like death. But, you know what? I'm no amazing architect, as you may or may not have noticed. I just have to make it up as I go, and that is what I'll do. <laughs> yada yada yada. All of that stuff. Being smug and such. Okay. Mm. Yep, okay. I'm just gonna put a straight road down here. And this shall be our new office block. With any hopes. I mean, if it didn't turn into our new office block, I would be very confused. I'd have to wonder what really happened to cause this to not be an office block anymore, because I designed it as one. That was the goal. With any hopes. No, I don't like that. What we're going to do is cut it down to right here. Look at that street. We're going to have a little dead-end turnaround street right there, and then we're going to have this cut here. And that may or may not cut down on traffic along this main road. Hopefully, if it doesn't, then it's just going to look silly, and you can call me a twat and all the other things you want to call me. For making something that look, just looks completely silly and serves literally no purpose at all. Uh. In the very least, it's a slightly stylistic choice of the city, isn't it, really? Look at that. It's like... I want to say it's like something, but I can't... No, I'm looking at it. I got nothing. No, it doesn't really look like anything. Maybe, maybe later it'll look like something and we can all be happy and laugh about how... Oh, clearly the city was styled to look like yada yada. But right now it's just... This city was poorly designed, wasn't it? Maybe just a little. Maybe because it was designed by me and I'm just making it up. Maybe. Is the game still paused? No, but it is on slow. And we can't have it on slow because we need things to move. We need money to come in because we're clearly so broke. I say as I have $910,000. Oh, that was a four-lane motor, wasn't it? We cannot have four-lane roads here. That is completely unacceptable. Who do you think you are, four-lane road? Who do you think you are that you can come into my city and exist? Ha. <laughs> right. Not gonna happen today. After all, the cultists do have a small ban on four-lane roads. Just a tiny little one. They say that four is not, in fact, the number of the beast, and that six-lane roads should reign supreme. It's caused a bit of contention in the city planning boards, but I think we're going to get through it. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Boom. We just put in way too many offices. Which can cause so many problems. It's amazing. Firstly, the fact that there's literally no water anywhere. Second, the fact that there's no power. And thirdly, because nobody wants this many offices. 
not even Brandberg. And that's saying something because Brandberg, as I'm sure somebody knows, just absolutely loves its offices. Loves them to death. Okay, let's put the basic services in here. Go a fire station, crematorium, because apparently that's a basic service now, and a police station, and then we're going to rig up the power right onto those guys. Because it's just an efficient way to do it. And because I say that's how it's going to be done. And as we know, what I say will be done is usually done, occasionally not well, but we try. There's no water going to these pipes, is there? Oh yeah, no there isn't. We didn't actually connect it up to the main system. That does cause some problems, just a couple. Namely the whole nobody has any power thing. Yeah. Let's think. Oh, look at all of these abandoned buildings down this little street. What, you guys don't like your curvy little street, huh? You think you're too good for that street, huh? Well, you just won't be living in Bramberg then. That may be considered a uh, sweet release situation. But, you know, we're going to get over it. It's okay. Everyone else living in Bramberg loves it in Bramberg. It's amazing. Everyone over here loves offices. That's literally the only thing that's over there. Okay. We also need more commercial. It is a small problem, isn't it? Where are we going to build more commercial? Small expansion of Marketopia, I presume? Yes. It shall be done. Shall build Marketopia out into the greatest center of marketing in the world. Actually, why expand Marketopia when we can upgrade Marketopia? Here's what we're gonna do, kids. Not that not to be demeaning, any more demeaning than I usually am in the very least. But uh, here's what we're gonna do, kids. We're gonna build <laughs> High density commercial right in here. Would you all get out of here? The time of low density commercial is over. We are expanding the realm of Marketopia. You're all dead. I'm going in with a bulldozer. You're all gone. Pile drive the buildings into non existence. And preferably take the rubble caused by the pile driving and move it out of the city. Maybe in turn it into like gravel that we can put on I could put them in the Zen Gardens, which I don't know where the Zen Gardens went. That is a fair question. They aren't there anymore. I wonder why they were there to begin with. Or am I insane and don't even know what I'm talking about? Well, we're going to put some uh parks in here anyway. Ones where people will not commit seppuku. Hopefully, that is completely questionable, though, because occasionally people just run around stabbing swords into their guts, just being like, CULTURE! And then dead. Like, okay, cool, guys. Cool story, bro. Yeah, there we go. Marketopia is going to become amazing. And if it doesn't, I'm going to find you, Marketopia. You're right here. I'm going to kill you. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What was I thinking? I was thinking of something. I remember what I was thinking of. Bus routes. Yep, that's right. I was thinking about bus routes. Namely, I was thinking about the whole fact that we need to get a bus route up in and around Bramberg. Maybe off into this office district. Maybe. That's a bit questionable, though. Sounds a bit dangerous. So what we're going to do is create a new line right, come on, here, in the hub of buses, also known as the entry to Marketopia. And then we're going to go in through Bram, 
Hartberg, because that's what I said we were going to do, and when I say we're going to do something, we usually actually do it. Occasionally we don't, and I was just lying, and it's, it's not the best. But on other occasions, I, we do actually do it. And it's amazing. It's amazing. Things get done. I'm happy. You're happy. If you're not happy, that's too bad. And everything just goes on in just a beauteous harmony. What is this? There we go. We're going to have it run down this windy riverside path. Right there. Hmm. Yep, right there. And it's going to come back up around because it has to down back into the other half of Bramberg. Where we're going to connect oodles of stuff up here. We should probably build two separate bus routes, but you know what? Shut up. Not happening. We're doing one bus route. Because I say so. And then we send it all the way back to the start. Complete the line. Mmm, isn't that beautiful? We now have buses running all over Brandberg. Traffic is, eh, you know, not the end of the world. We've definitely had worse here in Brandberg than what we've got right now. That is true. So true. Okay, oh my goodness, but we haven't had worse traffic here. Oh my. It's just a lane merging issue. What's wrong with you guys? Why can't you guys just drive on? Oh. Yeah, that'd be why. Well, I mean, you could also use both lanes here. I mean, not really a big issue with that, really. You don't have to merge lanes, guys. Jeez. Okay, then we're going to... <laughs> ignoring the massive traffic jam over there, because they're just being silly. Probably following the rules of the road or something. How insane. Uh... The beige line. Because beige is the national color of Brandberg. And you might be saying national color? Brandberg has a national color? To which I would respond with yes. Yes, it does. Let's see if we can get anywhere near beige. I don't know where brown is on this continuum. I don't know my color wheel or anything like that. I'm lazy and don't know it. But that's pretty close to brown. Oh, yeah, that's a nice brown right there. Good enough, not really beige, but, you know, that's as close as I'm going to get. Ha-ha! <laughs> the beige line is completed at Brandenburg. Very nice, very nice indeed. Okay. Oh my goodness, there are abandoned buildings going up everywhere. And by going up, it's more like going down in reality. Get out of here. Nobody wants your abandoned buildings. Abandoned buildings are bad for everyone. Even for the people who are squatting in the building. Because they're going to be squatting there, and all of a sudden, a couple knives fall down. Where'd the knives come from? I may or may not have put them there, just to make a point. And then, uh, you know, it's over. That's it. It's done. I don't know why those buildings burnt down. I mean, there's copious coverage here. Should be fine. You people stop complaining about burning down buildings when... Well, I mean, if you are actually burning down buildings, I have a small problem that is... that is known as arson. That's a thing, and that's uh, not really acceptable in my city. I'm uh, not happy about that. Actually, yeah. Oh my goodness, the problem is getting worse. Worse and worse. Why can't you people just, I don't know, use both lanes? My goodness. Look, it's backing up into the city. What jerks? What absolute jerks? 
How can I fix this situation? Considering, considering. Consideration done. And potential fix has been noticed. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. It's not gonna look pretty, but I think it's gonna fix maybe just a little. I'm gonna have a little cheeky uh, ramp coming over here. Check it out, check it out. Look at this, it's gonna go right in this space between here. It's gonna go down here. Can it go under here? Oh yes, look at that. Mm. And it's going to connect up. <sighs> See, I want it to connect up this main road, but I'm not sure I want it to connect up along here. A lot of traffic builds up here anyway. I could connect it right over here. And by that I mean put a little thing here and then right over here. And that should with any hope help to divert some of the traffic that's trying to get from here into here off of this area and onto this ramp that brings us right across. Look at that sneaky mess of roads. Ugh, disgusting. Just ugh, putrid. Mm. Ugh. <laughs> It's at least pulling some traffic off, which is, I guess that's a good thing. We're going to put it as a victory in the books, and we're going to make sure, we're going to ear note it. Ear note it? Ear mark it? No, we're not going to ear mark it either, that's not actually. Look, we're going to put a little note on the side, a little asterisk, and we're going to say, please do not check whether or not this was a victory. And that's how it's going to work. It's going to be brilliant gonna be amazing. Now, have I even done anything this episode? I built a bus line. I did that. I knocked down quite a few buildings in here. Oh, I, yes, I built this. That's what I built. Okay, I did. Whew, I was concerned that there was literally no progress. I really wouldn't put it past myself to literally do nothing in 30 minutes. That sounds like something I would do. So what we're going to do is put some metro stations in here, and we're going to start to get a metro line running around the city. Obviously, Brandenburg needs significant metro coverage. We're going to get a metro line right out to the peaceful Cultopia. Of course, it's... All the signs are going to be written in goat's blood, because it's just, it's just how we work in Cultopia, really. All the signs have to be written in goat's blood at some point. I mean, that, that would kind of imply that they don't have to... There's a strange wording of that. We're going to leave it. We're, we're going to leave it and just leave it at that. At some point, they do have to be written in goat's blood. It happens. So we're going to get metro stations everywhere, even in the suburbs where you just really wouldn't expect to see a metro station. You'd be like, if you saw a metro station there, you'd be like, who designed this? Who put this here? Why exactly is this? What? That's exactly what it would be like. I'm going to get a metro station for the university circle. Mmm, brilliant. Mmm. It's going to be a terrible metro line. It's going to be disgusting. So now we're going to do a little bit of freeform road stuff. And by freeform road, I mean freeform metro tunnels. That's right, people. We're going to the big picture here. We need mass transit. A lot. To pull people off of the roads in a less forcible way than actually pulling them off of the roads is. Because I don't know if you've ever tried to pull someone off the road, but it tends to cause a few problems. What is this? It's like we got a little power problem out in the knick-knack emporium of magic. It may need to be dealt with. Yeah, that's what I thought. We're running out of power. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to get crazy here. Just a little crazy. 
I'm going to have a road come off of here. Watch this. It's going to come down here. It's going to go over. We kind of want a straight road now. I'm going to come down here, right parallel with that road. And we're going to come all the way over here. Crazy, right? Crazy? You don't know why it's happening? You have no clue? You're like, what's going on? This this looks ridiculous. To which I respond, yes, it is ridiculous, but... Limitless power! So much power created, literally from the sun, as I put down not one, but two solar energy plants. Why did he put down two when he only needed one? Who can answer this question? Literally nobody. No one in the world. Seems like just a frivolous waste of resources. To which everyone responds with, yes, definitely frivolous waste of resources. Why is this guy a mayor? Why is he allowed to design a city if he's so terrible with resource management? I know, it's bad, isn't it? It's terrible. It's just so bad. Look at Goatsburg. People are dying left and right in Goatsburg, and the cemetery just can't deal with it. They're like, but... They're humans. They're not goats. This is a problem. Because we made a hundred thousand goat coffins, but we didn't actually make any people coffins. I know it was a small oversight on the carpenter's part, but really we needed to memorialize the lives of our goats. Because that's... it's like the basis of our civilization. They are very... Very strange in Goatsburg. I mean, who would have thunk it? They've run out of human coffins. Okay, now we need to connect that final little road. Road? This ain't no road. This is a metro line. Look at that. It's a massive metro circuit. Everyone's going to be asking, why is this metro circuit so... Friggin' huge. Which I say, stop asking questions. Jeez. Just go with it, guys. Come on. It's not the end of the world. It's just kind of it's just close to it. It's like one year away from the end of the world. That's what it is. There we go. Look at that. Now we got metros running, and people are going to be taking the metro, also known as a subway, to some people. You know, like me, probably, maybe. Just a little. This corner is a big issue, isn't it? It's a really big issue. Is this a two-way road? No, that's not a two-way road. Ah, lane changes, people. They cause a lot of problems. Where are all these people going? They're all going up over there. What if I fix this problem by doing this? That's right, people. I'm fixing another problem. And you know how well it's going to get fixed. Eh. Eh, is the answer to that one. It's going to be okay, but not great. It's definitely... A, you've seen better situation, but at the same time, it's not going to kill anyone. Usually. On occasion. Okay, most of the time it does kill someone. But, I... That's not the point. The point is, there's a new road. It looks crazy. It's going to try to pull a bit of traffic off of this. Maybe somebody will use it. Maybe they won't. Yep, they're using it. That's brilliant. Hopefully they use both of them and it distributes the traffic evenly and everybody's happy, including me, which is just mm, brilliant. Mm, brilliant. Okay, look at this. Things are going along nicely, except in Cultopia, where apparently people are like, Oh, we won't leave our home, because apparently there's something to do with money. What is this? Low land value. 
You little pricks. Who do you think you are? You live in friggin' Cultopia. You get all the high land value you want. You know how you increase your land value? You just pour goat's blood on it. It fertilizes the land. You'll be able to get multiple crops. At least two. Artichokes and rutabagas. Hmm. Gonna tell you guys, the traffic is so real. That is really bad. Oh, we're gonna have to fix this entire main stretch thing next time because, uh, yeah, you know, end of the episode and such. We'll probably take. We'll stop being ridiculous and doing this thing, and instead we'll uh, pull the highway out down this way, all the way down. Then we'll have a little on and off ramps, and it'll be, it'll actually be a slightly efficient system. I know, whoa, I know, it's crazy, it's insane. Efficient systems in this city, no. No! The people of Brandenburg will not stand for such a thing. And Coltopia is going to be like, I mean, are there sacrificed goats involved? To which Goatberg is going to start just screaming at the top of their lungs, You can't sacrifice goats! That's against the moral tenets of our society! To which Cultopia is going to start chanting terrible rituals at them. Everything's going to go downhill. It's going to be... Oh my goodness. Look at what we've done. Put together a situation where people are going on... Oh my goodness. Oh, we got some major problems here. Oh, it's really bad. Wow. Okay. Well... In lieu of actually fixing any of our problems, because I doubt that's ever going to happen. Um, this is the end of the episode. Look at it. It's, it's actually kind of nice, at least down here. Over here it still looks uh, terrible. But over here it actually looks pretty nice. Look at that. Mmm, love it. Okay, yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this, like and subscribe. Um... Of course, there'll be more as time goes by, because that's what happens. I put up more videos as time rolls on. That's generally how these systems work, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Yep, thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>